spirit, managing multiple companies that manufacture and distribute alcoholic beverages. He is also the newly elected vice president of Confederation of Nepalese Industries, CNI, our esteemed keynote speaker, Mr. Raj Bahadur Shah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mohandai, for having me. Honored to be here. In case you don't know who this gentleman is, Joe Girard, he's the world's greatest salesman, car salesman. And this line really made a lot, lot of sense to me. The elevator to success is out of order. You have to take the stairs one step at a time. That's life. I, only, I honestly and strongly believe you live life only once, and you must make the best of it. Time is limited and priceless. Today, what I'm going to share with you is from my own learnings, from my exposure, from my life's victories, and from my life's failures. 24 years of working in, in Nepal, learning from CNI, from books, Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, TED Talks, ChatGPT, and of course, good old TikTok. I hope someone, more than one, can learn something, and I hope a few of you get entertained. First of all, chaos. In chaos, there's always opportunity. And believe me, here in Nepal, there's a lot of chaos. Like Chandradai said, this place is beautiful because there's so many great opportunities that are untapped. The most important ac asset of Nepal, which I strongly believe, is our people. I'm not joking, I'm not lying. When you, I've traveled 100 different countries. The truth is, it's better than Mount Everest. It's better than hydropower. Our people are good, and our people are the ones who have to change things. We have great weather, the best in the world. Seriously, Nepal weather is amazing. You saw that video about 25 years, what Kiyunsa? In 25 years, either it's going to be really hot or really cold. Just two, three months ago, what was the temperature in Delhi? 50 degrees. Can you imagine if it's 60 Celsius? It's not humanly possible <laughs> to stay there. Everyone will come to Nepal. Our natural beauty is unheard of. It's ridiculous how much beauty you have. Our rich culture and heritage, when you look at our heritage, when you look how busy our families are with so many different great events, it's unheard of. It's so untapped. People would pay thousands of dollars to come and see something like that. And it's real. Yeah. You're knuckle in It's not some temple that's made for tourists. This is actually functioning things, beautiful culture that is unheard of and genuine, not made for tourists. The real thing. People today want the real thing. They don't want something orchestrated. Since we have such a great environment and such great people, it is fundamental fundamentally the backbone of every family, company, and country, everything's going to be, be okay, for sure. I can guarantee you, Nepal has plenty of problems, the world, but how many Nepali are we'll survive. What the beauty of Nepal is, we survive, we don't even complain. load sharing, no problem. Okay. Today, everything is changing at lightning speed. It's crazy how things are changing. And it's kind of scary because if you can't keep up, you'll be left behind. You have to jump on that bus or else that bus is not going to stop for you. And this is life. And that speed is faster and faster and faster. The rules of the game have changed and the old tricks just don't work. Believe me, I know it. I've had so many failures, I have so many victories and old tricks don't work. If you want to change your life, your house, your home, your family, your business, old tricks don't work. There are great things about 
what our parents, what our grandparents teach us about culture and history, about loyalty, about being a good son, being a good husband. There are lots of old things need to change because the world is changing. The world is changing so fast that you saw that video. Pachis Barsama. I hope all of us will be alive. But Pachis Barsama, if you see what's going to happen, I'm like, Kyu Unsa. The world is going to change so much that it's crazy. 25 years ago, when I came back from college, Nepal was much nicer than it was today. But can you imagine if this happens in the next 25 years? How crazy it's going to be? And the truth is, it's scary. Because it could be like that video, but the truth is it could be much worse. How many countries are at war? How many countries, even this morning I was watching the news, people are saying we should start making more nuclear weapons. So it could go up here, like our country, or could go down there. Really scary. But change is scary and that's good. Now, we all know the one thing that should solve all of Nepal's problem, hydropower. Okay, you know. 20,000 megawatt, boom, we're set. Everything is free, we can relax. We'll be like, we'll be like Dubai. Tara, is that our number one business? What's our number one export? People. We're not sending electricity out, we're sending our people out. And guess what? Nothing has changed. 200 years ago, exactly, guess what we were doing? We were sending British work, we were sending soldiers for British workers. Nothing has changed, there's no innovation here. 200 years ago, that was our number one export. <laughs> Nothing has changed, just think about it, it's, it's 200 years. We send soldiers, now we send workers. And why did they like the workers? Because Nepalese are good. Loyal, hardworking, trustworthy. Trustworthy. I was in Europe last one, two months ago. Every single restaurant I went to, and I met the owner and I said, thank you, I hope you like our Nepali. Oh, they're great. It's too ramro. Complain pani nagarni. No politics, kam sam garni, they're happy with their salary. Tinarle, my nama duitin se dollar, ama baule pothonsa, parents pani danga. They don't want to quit. Ulto, they want to bring more family members over. Here the kevin, ramro, bull the kevin, polite. Everywhere in the world, people love Nepalese. And we are so lucky. I'm telling you, we're lucky. The world loves us because of the people. If we screw this one up, because there's plenty of countries, plenty of countries where they don't want, hey, you're this country, but oh, no, 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 no. Plenty of countries. I was in Chandigarh, and the Sardarji told me, Raj, I don't know how much of you know about Chandigarh, from, eight, from one to hundred, they have this beautiful arranged city. And they're like, your whole area, ma, sappai gharma, you're a Nepali couple, sir. Sappai gharma. And Josko Saina, they're desperately looking for a Nepali couple. Kina. They work hard, they're trustworthy, they can leave their kids with them. Gharko tsabi dina saksa, churi hundena, mardena, rape gardena. Titti samatsa, titti sam. And Josko, whoever doesn't have it, they want one. And they're paid well. They're not, not paid well. So it's not just the people who leave from the plane. A lot of people are crossing the border. And today, if, this, if the youth, to be honest, I, it's kind of sad, if the youth didn't have that option to go abroad, if they were stuck here, not getting jobs, there would be horrible crime. Seriously, crime. If you stopped your motorcycle, someone would come with a knife or even a stone and say, give me your wallet. This is the case in other countries where they cannot send their people. Rati, red light, my car, you don't get it. This is the situation. But yeah, this is the chance. Instead of protesting in the streets, like what happened in Bangladesh, very scary. 
You have everyone is lining up at the airport. You're a pressure cooker, ko unsani city. That city is the airport. Kind of scary, but that's the truth. The only reason people are toler- tolerating the, the bullshit that's happening in our country is because everyone's leaving. It's kind of sad, but it's true. How many of you, please raise your hands, how many of you have a family member outside? Be honest, or a close friend. I'm also guilty. Today, this is something I learned at CNI, 85% of all high schoolers want to leave. Not just want to leave, they're planning to leave. Paila ki unthani ama bau ko karan le kar basti ho. Okay, I'm I'm one of them. Tora aajkal ama bau le pani eh ya thik sahi na zau. But yes, do you ana bed din su? Raj le kinsa la zau. Go outside, whether you're studying or whether you're you're washing dishes. This is scary. I was in Texas the other day, and I to my Sati Sorov Jyoti le yoda gadi ko channel sir. He's made me quite popular, and I was teasing all these Nepalese, and they've all gotten American citizenship. And I tease them, just because you have a blue passport doesn't mean, Namaste, doesn't mean you're you're an American. You're still a Nepali, and to Bhitra, Nepalese still have that. Kya baira goya pani? There's still Nepalese, whether you're in Australia, where in the US, or anywhere in the world, even in India. Problem comes, you raise your kids abroad, they are not Nepali. And they will not come home, they will not have the same values as you were grown up with. So, if 85% is thinking about going, if 50 to 100,000 people are leaving the country, what's going to happen in three to five years? Pull out your phones and do the math. There's no, there's no young people left. I, I have my team here. We do all sorts of crazy things at JGI, and we have this great team that constantly Facebook, we're tracking our customers. And I was like, sales, got that. So let's, let's find out where everyone is. Sorry, I'm in Dubai, I'm in Australia, I'm in Canada. When I come back, I'll have a, <laughs> a Budweiser. Just the one, sir. The fact of the matter is everyone's gone. And if they're not gone, they're planning to go. And if this is a discussion in our team, we better stop targeting the young people because you know the chikni wala I mean the buda buda le khodna pariyo, nazani wala haru ke? Tyesto bhaisakyo, fact kura, hey! So, it's, 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 if, if young people aren't there, old people, let's, it's a problem. And let me tell you again, depressing, Bekar CNI ma join garera, you find out too much information. Ignorance is bliss, kya? But when you don't know anything, you feel it's okay. But in CNI, more than 50% of all the businesses are khatam, down. And, and, and I thought, the good businessmen always say my business is down so you don't copy it. <laughs> But this is genuine cases where everyone is in a t- tough shape. Really tough shape. Naam na leo, someone you guys all know, he's down right sizing by 75%. 75%. Three out of four employees are being sent home. Just for him to survive. Nabe, the whole family heritage of, I don't know, how many years is down the drain? There's the situation. Asti bhairwa malai logi aliyo. There are 400 factories shut. There's not even a thousand factories open. 400 are shut. This is scary. Hotels. Great hotel. Great service. Excellent guys. There's so many hotels coming. In the next 18 months, there's 20 new hotels. In Kathmandu also. In bhairwa. In Pokhara. Guess what? They're training grounds. 
maybe not everyone, but most of them have become training grounds for young people to come, get that so salty go resume and tap Baira. This has become the case for many industries, including mine. And HR people are equally bad, because they're the ones who know how to run as fast as possible. <laughs> right? So, what is the situation? And what is the situation? What is the situation? Yeah, we have a lot to get you young men and women to drink. We say we have to give a special offer. Marketing, right? You guys know this offer. So, Sekwa free, Haina, Pile, buy, Ali Ramro Sauni, buy three and get one. Ali Kadi, Peri, Sopes and Lategar, then buy two and get one. Then, when you're really in bad shape, <laughs> buy one, <laughs> get one. Over the key, don't buy, you take it free. Two Matre, Haina. Forget free, I'm going to pay you <laughs> to drink it. And you, I'm a business with you, you're a business now, I see you. I swear to God, I'm a full full man. Raj, you buy this factory, I'll go factory free. You know, you hotel, you know, you're a dama, you're building free. Yes, to I see you this situation. I'm not, I'm not joking, you guys know it. You guys are in marketing, you're in sales. The situation is difficult. So what do we need? What do we need? We need innovation and transformation. We need to create jobs in this country, not outside. Okay, no? We need jobs, good paying jobs, eh? not bad jobs. We need good jobs in the country, not outside the country. As a main problem here. And if we don't get our acts together, even most of you in this room will go home, pack your bags and go to the airport. The sad truth is this. The sad truth is this. Hey? So let's talk about innovation. John Chambers, Cisco, Big Don. If you don't follow him, please do. 40% of all businesses are going to collapse. But you have to change the company to new technologies and new systems. If you don't, go. Yeah, in Nepal, most companies are already closed, they just don't know it. I know. Me. So I had to change. I don't know if you guys know, one year ago, I was 30 kilos more. I'm not joking. My waist was 44. Today, I'm weighing 36 and it's loose. I said, if I have to change, I have to change myself. So, so, so I did all my research online, online. I'll give you the honest truth. I, everyone is quite thin here. I don't see anyone. If you want to lose weight, just don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> Intermittent fasting. <laughs> but I'm working very aggressively now. And in the past 12 months, six months, six days, six hours, I'm trying my best to change. Because I have to live long. I have three lovely daughters. And I say, what is my mission in life? My life goal is Okay. Whether I get to speak in front of such brilliant people. As a father, if, I, if my, me and my wife can dance at our, our, our kids' weddings, it would be great. Problem is I have I got married late, I, got, I had kids late, so I have to live longer. <laughs> so that's why I've lost a lot of weight. People make fun of me saying, Raj, your waist has come down just like your business. <laughs> business when you got your waist when you got you. You got yes So professionally in order to survive, to thrive. We are making more changes. We're trying to make more changes in the next 12 months than what we're trying, what happened in the last 25 years. Next 12 months, we are making more changes than what we've done in 25 years. We have to, because the world is changing, everyone is changing. 
in JGI, we're changing, even last yesterday, some of my friends are here. We were thinking, J Paila Chomaina Lakyo, no chance. Tyo Chomaina has to finish Chogantama. Technology is there. Technology is there. They know you have to change it, but they don't. You have to become accountable. So, I have to identify You have to be honest. With 10% of the budget, we have to get the same results with half the amount of people. Adi to bhagi sakyo. Budget to chayna. Market ban chayna. Customer ni bhagi sakyo. At the same time, we want to make work easier. As a manager, as a leader, your number one job to your subordinates is make life good. Make their job easy. Okay, na? If their job is easy, they can do their job, and you'll, become, you'll get rewarded. To make it easy, ask Alta, with the younger people, you have to make it fun. And you have to reward and recognize also. We Nepalese are excellent in this. Romailo, reward, expert. What are we lousy in? We're good at distributing carrots, but danda hanna, carrot and stick. We're weak in this. Hey, I know this is not my company, it's every company. This is not just a company, this is Gharma. He'll get by. When he does something bad, let him go, don't scold him. This has to change. We're too accepting. We're too relaxed. Okay, Gharma Bani, we're like this. Even at work, we're like this. Our country is like this. So, just like every other company, I have to right size. I have to clear all my loans. Debt free. We have some bankers here. Bankers are your best friends when things are good. Oh my God. I know. When you owe money and you don't have it, what is it? It's hard for the bankers also. Believe me, I have the best one working for me. For that nice gentleman or, or lady to pretend to be angry, to pretend to be firm, and Nepalese are masters in giving excuses. Check on this, to 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 get a bike my accident report. And check ball over on such to signature nominally. So we're really good at making excuses. And today it's so difficult. What five years ago, how many three, four thousand blacklisted? I believe it's one lakh people who are going to be or blacklisted today. Are there even one lakh people writing checks? To one lakh people who are, who are blacklisted, I can guarantee you 20, 30 percent of the case. That's it. How much case can you I supplied 50,000 shops. Oh my God, it's absolute chaos. Everyone is, 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 is running away. It's a boy. It's a situation of Basaki. Shano Tama, tier two, tier three city. Guy didn't have money, but he had his checkbook. Uncle Kosati owns the liquor shop. I said, check the check leg. I said, bottle of Ruslan. I said, you can bounce. But is that shopkeeper going to go report to the police to put his friend's younger son in jail? No. That's the situation of today. But we have to transform. If we don't, we won't thrive, we won't survive. Good friend, Elon Musk. This guy is 25 years ahead. Everyone should follow him. Hopefully you wake up sometime. Google, TikTok, anything. Elon Musk. He's doing things crazy. And this is one of my favorite lines. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. When you want to do something new, it fails. It's natural. If it, then, if you're not failing, something is not right. You're playing too safe. Elon Musk, you have to follow him. So what is innovation? 
So, in a world of constant motion, change is inevitable, not just a possibility. Standing still is not an option in this dynamic environment. If you stand still, you'll get shot. So you have to keep moving. You constantly have to keep moving. This is the nature of life, especially now. To thrive or survive, we must embrace, honestly embrace, innovation, transformation. These concepts are essential for success in an ever-evolving society. This is where we Nepalese have to work extremely hard. Good friend, Simon Sinek, genius. You guys, please follow him. Simon Sinek is, if you just listen to him, you just feel like, wow. Innovation is not born from the dream. Innovation is born from struggle. Don't listen to these dream stories where everything is nice. Everyone fails a thousand times before they become successful. So innovation. This is from Simon Sinek's speeches and YouTubes and TED Talks. It's not efficient. It's trial and error. It's experimental. It's testing. It is testing. If you're not failing in it, then something's wrong, right? And the truth is, it must fail. Then it has to fail again and fail again before it becomes successful. That's what true innovation is. When you look at any technology, it's failed so many times, then only it becomes perfect. It's like even if you have a phone, it constantly is updating. I know it's kind of irritating, but if it's not updating, it, it's, if it's not, it'll be constantly failing. The trick in your companies or organizations or even in your house, you cannot stop innovation. You cannot suppress it. You cannot tell him he's crazy, she's crazy, let's kick her out, let's kick him out. You need to embrace it. This is where I can tell you 95% of the companies in Nepal don't want to try something new. They're too scared. I know. But you have to embrace innovation. Because innovation is something that will change the industry, it will change the profession. It has to change. But it, and believe <laughs> me, innovation is not copying. I'm not Nepal, you copy God. You school may see that, okay? So it's too not Amrabani. Zoom business, everyone has to do it. How many damn hotels are there? Huh? Look at all the great businesses. Everyone wants to do the exact same thing. It's so irritating. It's so angry. I was even teasing one day. He has such a beautiful event. There's three other events also, just like this. Yes, that's okay. Nepal, you're copying Bani Chaini. Ekdom Naramro. Innovation is about making something that costs one lakh, 100 rupees. That's what you want to do. The greed part where I see all over the world is they make a hundred rupee product and sell it for one lakh. Okay, I know. But the truth is, if we want real innovation, ek lakh ko product ek se rupee ma ono paryo. Boom, Steve Jobs, the Dawn, the real Mac. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. You guys need to be leaders. You guys need to be innovators. The problem, innovation is all about finding new ways to solve a problem. We all have problems. Does anyone not have a problem? We all have problems. But we have to be innovative to solve them. We have to think out of the box. We have to think about digital transformation. Who does not own a phone? So you all are already in the process of the digital, digital transformation. Today, kids are applying to 20 colleges in five minutes. It's crazy. You can reach, a, we have some friends in media, you can reach a million, you can contact within an hour. That's one of the reasons for CNI's success. Why politicians want to listen to us is they know, oh, CNI ma post gare I have, we have about 20, 30 media guys who just post it, boom, ek lakh. Today in Nepal, today in Nepal, it's about home delivery, real-time information, working remotely, doing everything from the phone, including falling in love. Seriously, 
Young generation are falling in love on the phone. It's crazy, but it's happening. Maybe you guys don't know, but your kids do. So innovation in 25 years, eh? I really, this really is, I, I think, at least let it be the same, let it not get worse. But here's the truth. Pachisbar, some of the population of the world will be double. Hey? Will be double. We'll need double the amount of food. Already in Nepal, there's not enough food. Truth. Climate change will be a disaster. Like I said, um, just Delhi was 50 degrees. Not fit for humans to live. 50 degrees, right? Eh? Forget humans. Animals also cannot live. Forget animals. Your grass, you know, 50 degrees now. It's dying. Did you know in the last 30 days how much it's rained in Kathmandu? Never ever before. Never ever before it's rained that much. Can you imagine if that's more or double? We're all going to become vegetarians in 25 years. This is scary. Lab-grown meat. Hamburger, veg burger. It used to cost $200 for that burger. I checked online. Why? Because it's not ethical to kill animals, right? We all know it, but we try not to. But in the future, we'll all be vegetarians. And I used to think it was disgusting. tandoori flavor. situation. Many jobs will be lost to automation. This is guaranteed. You guys can search it online. It's, 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 it's going to be scary. Jobs will be gone. And it's not just AI, it's EI. Emotional intelligence. Where you're going to have a robot that can be your girlfriend, can be your father, can be your doctor, can be anyone. You'll fall in love with them. You'll trust them. You'll worship them. That's how good the technology is changing. And this is all happening because of quantum computing. Why is the world changing so much? I'll make it very simple. A microchip today versus 20 years ago, that same microchip can hold a lot more information and you can get to that. The speed is much faster to access that information and it's much cheaper. So more information, more speed and cheaper means the world is going to change. Today, a, a, a self-driving car is equal to 80 people sitting in the car looking outside the window. That's how good a self-driving car is. Ride-sharing. But how? I'll just, I'll just use but how? In 25 years, forget but how, you choose online. That's... Oh, that's the value. Why don't you go? Why do Forget that. Ma, aza, what am I in the mood? Ma, kun tham ma kam garni. But how just to? Aza, I want to work in this company. Aza, you boring guy, sir. I want to work in another company. Tu pani hunsa. Just like you choose which biker you want to go with, you can choose which job you're gonna get. It sounds crazy, but believe me, it's starting. It's already starting. Space travel. Oh my God! Can you imagine? It's already started. Didn't you see that video? Jun oil signing, it cost two million dollars to go to space. If it costs two thousand dollars, why not? Problem kill. Who wants to go to Mount Everest if you can go to Mars? I know. The truth is, privacy will be gone. No privacy. We'll know every single thing about each one of you. From what you're doing, what you're not doing, what you like, what you don't like, what everyone else likes or not, doesn't like either. And in 25 years, hopefully I'll also be selling alcohol. And my alcohol will make you smarter and make you relax. <laughs> Just like it's doing today. <laughs> the great Elon Musk. Failure is not an option here. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. Please follow Elon. He's the guy. Innovation in Nepal. Overcrowding, 
Too many companies doing the same thing. Unhealthy discounting. I just talked about it. It's ridiculous. We're so rich in culture and natural resources. We have great potential. Potential. However, how to realize this potential? So I did some research. CNI, FNCCI, Chambers. But the best was from ChatGPT. These are the top 10 things we have to fix. The first three are damn important. The last three are also critical. Agriculture, we need food, right? I live in Godavari. Mero tolma, koi baki. No one is farming. They're bringing, they're importing people to do the farming. I'm not joking. Koi chayna. No local, no chora chori, none of them are doing the farming. This is going to be a big problem. Forget 25 years, it's a problem today. Renewable energy, of course, that's the, the magic switch. We're good to go. Healthcare. You know, I always preach about I, how much I love Nepal. The one thing, the one thing that needs the most amount of improvement is healthcare. You go to a hospital, oxygen sign, yaar. Aina? Bed sign. It's ridiculous. Healthcare is one of our weakest areas or the most, the most, most opportunity. Education and skills. Oh my God, please. Our education has to really change. Really change. Tourism. <laughs> Tourism, it could be so good. We're not even 5% of where we should be. I'm on the tourism committee. And I really want to invest in tourism, but the more I know, I'm like, oh, hey, no way. <laughs> That's how bad it is. It's so difficult today. It's, it's really difficult. I feel sad for the guys. Digital transformation. This is something that each and every single one of you has to do. You're already doing it. You just don't know. You have to use your phone, do whatever you need to, change, search it. Now we come into the more serious ones. Environmental conservation. We have the most beautiful country in the world, so we are the most at risk. At least we're not by the ocean, and we're not going to drown. But uh, we have such beautiful, we have such a beautiful country. We are most at risk if we don't take care of our environment. Social in innovation. If we don't change Hamra Dimag, the way we think, the what we teach our kids, we're in trouble. And lastly, <laughs> political. We need, we need our leaders to get their acts together, don't we? If they don't help us, we're in trouble. We already are in trouble. Most of us don't know it. Jeff Bezos. This man has so much money, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And he only preaches all about digital transformation. This is something, all of you have phones. You need to get into it. If you don't get into it, you're going to be left behind. So transformation. So innovation, you're oil. But transformation is more about how changing of individuals. If you don't change the individual, you don't change your company, their, your country is in trouble. It's a shift in culture. That doesn't mean we should give up our culture, right? We've got the best, cult we have the best culture in the world. But we need to shift it to become a little bit more accountable, a little bit more productive. Now what we have to work hard on is how do we do things differently from before? So innovation is about the investigation and the feasibility study. Transformation is more about the process. What type of transformation we can do, what, what we not do. Great examples of transformational innovation, penicillin, antibiotics, the internet, airplanes, automobiles, the iPhone, contact lenses, robotic surgery. But you guys, we all, we Nepalese, we need to think out of the box. We need to think of reverse aging. We need to find a way to reverse aging. People are already doing it. Instead of getting older, let's get younger. Communication with animals. There are people actually working on this. They can talk to dolphins and dogs. It's happening, we just don't know. 
increasing IQ. 161, the year said, can you imagine if your IQ was 1,000? Seriously, people are working on this. To take that pill and boom, you're smart. Usually you take two, three pegs and you're smart also. <laughs> but here comes the craziest one. Can you imagine in 25 years if we actually make contact with the alien species? This is something that most of you can't even imagine, but it's very possible, eh? Very possible that this could happen. It, it would be transformational. The world would change overnight. But it's always about the people. Remember, it's not about the technology. And the main issue, the main issue is we as humans, we hate risk. It's built into our system not to have risk. It's built into our system to be comfortable. And we Nepalese are experts of this. Black belt, I mean Nepali, comfort, everything. Bahana, sana, everything just to stay at home and relax. If World Cup is on, everyone is late to the office, okay? Just to sa. But everything is, is just going nuts right now. But the stepping stone of success is always about the future. And today, as I close, we have to be careful more than anything. Innovation, transformation can be good and can be bad. If you look at our history, many of the greatest inventions were not used for good things or used for selfish things. Today, kids all have phones, but they're not using it for education or inspiration. They're using it for, oh God, who knows what? I don't even want to know. Drones. Drones are being used to drop bombs, guys. That's not okay. It should be dropping food and medicine, okay? They're using it to drop bombs. What type of innovation is that? That's not good innovation. And if innovation only helps the super rich, to become trillionaires to zillionaires, what about the rest of us? Innovation should be helping stopping inequality, stopping poverty, stopping pollution. Transformation of the mindset, the, the enemies of this is the mindset of fear, where you're afraid and you don't want to do anything. You're too, too big of a chicken to do anything. Or you're too greedy. This type of self-interest has to change. The mindset has to change. Because ethics, compassion, and generosity, these are strong Nepali Hindu values, or Buddhist values, or any religious values. These are the values that need to rule the world. If we don't Focus on these three areas, especially generosity. The next 25 years are not going to be good. Thank you very much. Namaste. And have a great day. Uh, I would like to request you to kindly be on stage for a while. What a fun-filled, power pack, inspiring session. Uh, with that, we are going to have a Q&A session with none other than Mr. Raj Bahadur Shah. Our volunteers will be around with a microphone. So this is the time to ask your question that we're so eager to ask this gentleman. Okay, we have a hand raised here in the middle. Volunteer team, can we have a microphone? Yeah. Here in the middle, the first row. First row in the middle. Uh, I would like to request you to kindly make your question short and precise. Hazar. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good morning. Uh, myself, Prakash Gimiri. I'm a I'm a Nepali. I'm Nepali. I'm a Nepali. I'm a Nepali. It's a very conservative question. No, no problem. आजा बंदा करीब करीब 40 पर सांग गड़ी आजुर को पिताजी सांग को मेरे को सानो कन्वर्सेशन करने मोह का पाय को थे मेले त्यों जाइए था पता ली माथियो। हाजुर। अयले यो सेल्स को आमी जस बेसिकली यो सेल्स समिट बार को हिसाब ले आजुर को धेरे इंडस्ट्री जरूर साह सेल्स इतर रिलेटेड कुने यो उटा सेल्स बॉय को आइडिया इनोवेशन ले 
हजर को कंपनी में कुछ ट्रांसफर्मेशन भैन मैं हजूला क्वेश्चन सोधे दिन का दिन हो दिन का दिन इट्स द फ्रंट लाइन सोल्जर्स हु नो द ट्रुथ वन यू स्टप लिस्निंग टू द फ्रंट लाइन सोल्जर्स यू इन ट्रबल हाई एंड समटाइम्स नेपाल हो इट्स नट रॉकेट साइंस सेल्स यू हेव टू मेक थिंग सीम्पल एंड इवन लास्ट येस्टडे वी आर हेविंग अ स्ट्रेटेजिक समिक वर्कसप चल रहा है अभी मै सेल्स टीम इज लाइक हमें कें बेकार में यह लैपटप दी रहे दी रहे आई एम आई हेव टू फिल आउट ट्वेंटी रिपोर्ट्स अ मंथ रे I don't need to do that. I need to sales. I need to bring sales to you. So, I mean, sooner or later, the day you stop listening to your front line. My question, Ajay Ali, Kathi, thank you so much. Half of the answers are here. Uh huh. So, sir, when we talk sales guys like cross gari rano ba ko sir. Ajay. Unknowingly, ule chahi sales, jun sales boy le, afno product sales, bechi rahe ko sir. Toh bhai service bechi rahe ko sir. हजरला आइडिया क्लिक भो जल्द ट्रांसफर्मेशन गयो रे एटा पोलिशी मेकिंग में तेल इंट्रोड्यूस कर सेल्स लढ़ाउन सकू कुछ इक्जापल थी कि सरसंग इजापल धरें टू बी ए स्पेसिफिक है अब वी विजिट थाउजेंड सप्स डे इट यूज टू बी फाइव थाउजेंड बट The thousand do eighty percent of the work. Question: How do you answer that? We've given everyone phones. They have to track. We know exactly where they are. Everything fancy. But kun kun good practices or best practices do not answer that. Why do you answer that? First of all, too much technology is not good. Keep it simple. Uh, you don't need to go to five thousand shops. One thousand is enough. You don't need 5,000 customers. You need the 1,000. 80-20 rule. What's the name? The 80-20 rule works. He said that without even knowing about it. Tara, where does it um, make a big difference? You have to realize, Ile, inflation is so high that just normal increment is not enough. So some sort of incentivized system, Chinese. And this, I see lots of companies suffering in this. You know, I mean, company or five percent, ten percent every year, but I they didn't pull them. You know, I'm bro. The cost of rice, the cost of everything, the cost of liquor is up. The most most taxed country in the in in Nepal in 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 Asia. It's ridiculous. Just like how you pay four times the value of a car, even alcohol is like that. So many other things are like that. But uh, learning much, I mean, um. Policy Maloney, Wanda. We have a lot of workshops. We have regional. We have a training team. Uh, we uh, daily huddle, Hunsa. Each ASM area sales manager sits with their people every day and gets input. The input only person, and that that itself takes training, eh? Uh, sometimes we promote in-house training. It's much nicer when Afne Gorke Manche is uh, giving the training. It also makes the managers more accountable. Than uh, than not, but still uh, we're doing we're doing our bit. Uh, I mean, we've been in the business long time. Uh, things are changing rapidly, so we're learning new things. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I mean, like, as a in fact, sir, ko joni speech jo ekdamai heart touching is ira keynote speaking thiyo. Ile, I mean, like, sanchay transformation baaye ko anubhav kina gare bane. Ira big corporate house ko. हाउस को एकजना इंटरप्रेनियर इंडस्ट्रियलिस्टले खाल तहसम में चाह अध्ययन कर हमी मोटिवेट कर तुलाकांत अधिकारी कृषि विश बैंक मैं सर के क्वेश्चन करना लाएं अभी मोस्ट अफ दीपी यूज में इन्वेस्टमेंट भाई जागिरे मानसिकता हजर ने लंग टर्म देखिए एट बिजनेस हैंडल कर सीएनआई को नेतृत्व में भी हो यूथ लो जागिरे मानसिकता नि इन्वेस्टमेंट में हमी डोरियान सक्यौं एटा हमें जो लेबर एक्सपोर्ट कर इस रोक्न सकता हो इसमें हजूल सीएनआई में भर एज अ बिजनेस एंटरप्रेन्योर के हिसाब से कस्त रोल प्ले कर फ्यूचर में के कर सकता हो थैंक यू थैंक यू 
Um, very good question. There's security in a nine to five job. Mere afne employer have left me and tried to do their own business, do be a ferry park it out. Risk is high, De Palma. You're from the banking industry. Tabai three percent loan dinus na. Ani ta risk kam gati also. Hai na? Bidesh ma three percent ma loan pounds up. Okay na? Dosh percent rakhe ra ninety percent financing pounds up. You have to put in 80% and get only 20%. But yes, there is a, there is a lack of uh, appetite for risk when it comes to business. You'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I mean, organized sector must soon then, but there's plenty of people I meet who are making what? 20% return. They're making 1000% return. And two I'm the one who bought it 12 lakhs. The person who sold it not even one year ago, ek lakh ma Testo bansa. So opportunity is there, you just have to know how to find it. Okay, you need to know where to look to find the gold. But there is, there is a lack. Family support, problem, if you look at your bank, what all do you have to sign? Oh my God. If, if you really want to have nightmares, to personal guarantee, so why would you want to do business? And our policy, oh my God, our government policy, no matter what you do, you uh, and last sentence, you'll go to jail. Oh, you do business, in the end of the policy, you will go to jail. So who the hell wants to do business when you're going to go to jail? But thanks for the good question. Anyone else? Sir, I, I think this will be the last question. I think this will be the last question. I think this will be the last question. Government in 2075 has the subsidy loan guidelines. And then the bank has the target. The commercial bank has the target. The commercial bank has the target. I think this will be the last question. I think this will be the subsidy loan. Most of the resources are available. the investment, our government has so many policies it needs to change. Whether I'm from CNI, FNCCI, Chambers, or any association, if you look at India, they got rid of 75% of their stupid policies. And today, India is the best place in the planet to invest. In Nepal, we have so many stupid rules, and so many stupid people making those rules, or refusing to change them. This is the problem. Because if, if every policy is you'll go to jail, who will do business? There's a lot of policy change to be done. I say this in other things. We have the, the policies are like handcuffs. Instead of the government and the bureaucrats creating a liberal atmosphere, they're creating a restrictive atmosphere. And it's restrict, it's not business. This is the problem. But policy change is critical, but no one is listening. Why are they not listening? They're being changed so often. If you think a businessman's job is difficult, a politician's job is ten times worse. It's so difficult. I really feel bad for them. Because they're trying, even genuine, there are a few good people. They want to do something. Putki also. Okay, no? Last 18 years, 15 governments. Nothing will work. <laughs> your family won't work. Your business won't work if you're changing every... If you have, it doesn't work. Yeah, you need stability. Only with stability, then the good people can make good decisions. But when everyone is changing, Azapani, uh, in CNI, where your policy gani, your gani, naya act banoni, man sini goyo. Jo goya goya, jo chhat yopani phutkin laza. 
Tisto sir. I mean, if you go to a government office, you'll see so many pictures of ministers that they need a new wall. Or they have to make smaller pictures. <laughs> or one, two smart ones have put a TV camera and the photo change gari ready. Yes, slideshow sir. Kira thame sahi na. So kam pasari unsa when things are unstable. Okay? This, this, the big three have to sit down together and say, let's stop playing musical chairs. Okay, now they're playing musical chairs and nothing is happening. And who is suffering? All of us. But I hope I answered your question. Yep, uh, absolutely. We will have to stop the Q&A over here. Thank you so much for your amazing time and a very power pack Thank you. keynote. I would like to request Mr. Mohan Oja and Samjana Ma'am to kindly come up to the stage and honor our keynote speaker with a token of appreciation. With a huge round of applause, obviously. Thank you.